Hey guys, welcome to uh, Homebrew Wednesday again. Um, I've not got a lot to talk about this week, but I did want to do a quick video just to um, do a quick little test, taste test on these ciders that I did um, last week with you. You know, the, um, the clove, the nutmeg, and the star anise. Now, there were a couple of comments in um, last week's Homebrew Wednesday video. Um, I didn't respond to them then because I just wanted to wait and see. Um, about the cloves, uh, a couple of them said it was going to be overpowering, um, don't let it go for so long. Anyway, I've, let, I've put five cloves in and it's gone a week, okay? Um, so let's try the clove one first, shall we? So, put some out, it's a little bit cloudy, which is fine because it still needs to go in the bottle. Now, it smells like cider, and I'm not getting a profound amount of clove in the in the aroma. Um, I'm probably not. Get, in fact, I don't think I'm getting any at all. Um, I've used cloves many, many times in many, many different things, and it can be um, a rather strong flavour. However, you know. In my opinion, you need more than one in a gallon batch. Uh, you know, I didn't crush the clothes, I didn't give them a pound or anything like that, I just took them straight out the, out the thing. Let me see if I can open them back. Let me, ju let me just go and get them. Like I said, I didn't, um, didn't crush them or pound them or bruise them or anything like that. They were just whole clothes. From Asda, just took five out and put it straight in. Now that's a really strong scent, but when you think about it, it's really strong because you got all those in there, loads of them. Yeah. You know, when, when I cook, I make sauces and stuff like that, and I, I do like um, a studded onion. I put about fifteen to twenty cloves in that onion just to get a hint of the clove flavour in my sauce, you know, so, uh, you know, some people might think, well, one's enough, um, you know, that's fair enough, it's down to everybody's individual preferences and tastes, um, but I think more is better in this, in this instant, so I taste. Right, okay, I'm not getting anything. Let me make sure I put some in there. Yeah, there they are. Definitely in there. <laughs> um, no, I can't taste it, so... We're going to leave that another week and we'll see what happens. We'll come back to that one next week. Now, moving on is the nutmeg. Now, if you remember, I just cracked the the nut and I just put it in. And again, that's been a week, and I think I did. I think I put two 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 of the nuts in. I mean, it looks the same as the uh, as the other one. It's not changed in colour any. Yeah. So again, still it's clear, but still cloudy, which is okay. Now I'm not getting any. Again, <laughs> looking to be failures these ones. I'm not getting any nutmeg. Um, nothing in the aroma. It just smells like cider. So, anyway, cheers. Now, 
I'm not going to say I can taste nutmeg exactly, but it tastes different from the other one. So I'm assuming that is the nutmeg in there. Definitely can't smell it. Now, I can taste the nutmeg, but I'm searching for it. You now, if I was just to give this to somebody as a blind test, not tell them what it is, I don't think they'd put the finger on it. It's very subtle. But it's definitely there. I think we're going to leave that another week also. Now, Moving on to the third one we did, which was the star anise. Now, I already know the aroma on this one is there, because I've puffed it out and I could smell it. Now, for those of you that don't know um, star anise, it's, uh, I think it's Chinese in origin, certainly Asian, and it's, uh, it's basically on a seed. Yeah? The little seeds inside the star anise are the aniseeds seeds. Yeah. Anyway, the yeah, the aroma. It's definitely there. It's um strong but not too overpowering. You know, I can't smell the cider anymore. I can just smell the aniseed and it has a very um, Perno like quality. Mm. Nice. Cheers. See what it tastes like. Mm. That's yum. Needs a little bit of sweetness, but I'm going to sweeten all these. Uh, I've not done it yet. This needs a little bit of sweetness, and that will taste exactly like blackjack. Mm. Really good. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, for those of you who don't know what a blackjack is, it was um, a little sweet. It was black. It tastes like sweet aniseedy. Um, Licorice, yum, 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 yumminess, yum, yum, yum. Um, and I haven't seen them for years, but I'm sure they're still about uh, blackjacks. But that's what that tastes like. That one, I think I'll back sweet that one tonight, and I'll get that one bottled up and. Conditioned and carved and whatnot. And I think I'll enjoy that one. So that's it, that's all I've got. Um, I've got the brown, no, I haven't. The amber ale is finished, it's in the bottling bucket that's ready to be done. The blueberry wine, it's still going. Oh, and the, uh, the orange beer. And that needs to be um, wrapped, I think. That needs to come out of there and into bottles. It's been on the zest now for a, just, just under a week, I think. Um, See if I can smell. That'll be another video, I think. I'll probably do it tonight, but I might put it on next week's homebrew. Then. Oops, sorry. Um, so that's it for for this week. Short and sweet. Um, I've not not got much else going on. I've got um, I've not done any brewing because I've got nothing left to put it in. Once all these all this is in bottles. 
I'm out. I've got all my kegs full. I've got all my bottles full. I could put stuff in pressure barrels, but I don't like using them for whatever reason. I just don't get on with the pressure barrels. So I need to invest in more kegs, um, corny kegs. Uh, I've got two um, 22 gallon kegs. Uh, one's full at the minute, it's got a cervecer in it. Uh, the other one's sort of just, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. Um, but I haven't got a batch of beer to fill it anyway. Um, I'm not doing a double batch. So yeah, I need to get some more uh, stuff. Um, Oh, of course, getting the beer I've got drunk. Um, simple as that, because I, I do have plans to do a, a braggot. I've got to do a mead. A mead I'll probably still do anyway, because I don't need anything for that. I just the demijohns. Um, yeah, braggot, mead. And I've still, still got to do my SJ Paul beer. I am. Um, had an idea, I brewed it, and then I wasn't happy. Well, I was, but I drank it, so it's gone. So, phew, well, I could either brew that one again, but I, I probably won't. I'll probably do, try and do something just different, something completely different altogether. Um, have a look, see what people are putting up. Have a look. You know, try, trying to get outside the box. There was a lot of um, talk of a lot of people doing um, stouts, chocolate stouts, double stouts, oatmeal stouts, and that was, to be fair, the direction I was going to go in. Um, but I've decided against it. I might just put in something simple, English bitter. Um, who knows? Anyway. That's it, that's enough of me waffling on, uh, and I'll uh, see you next week. Cheers guys.